Hello, everyone! Welcome back! Welcome back to Talking to People, the game featuring Xenosaga characters. Some of the soldiers were drafted unexpectedly, so the troop formation is not quite up to par. The Genosis attacked us now. I don't know if we can fight them head on. I don't know if we can fight them head on either. Maybe we should try deploying directly to the forehead. Maybe we'll get it a little bit better. Vector employees are all such polite, friendly people. I was under the impression that researchers were all uptight, so I was a little surprised. Man, it blew my mind. It was terrible. I really wanted to be right about my opinions, but I was wrong. Hey, that container doesn't belong there. Take it to block three. What are you doing? Take all the ammo to the AGWS. The eggs. Hanger. Eggs. Eggs. I, I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Hi, Shion. You're looking cute as usual. Yeah, okay. Hello, Mr. Holger. Hey, now. Quit with the formalities. Call me Mr. Driller. Oh, gosh. D Driller? Did you say... I'm really skilled at using the drill crane. So much so, I wish the drill council would acknowledge it. Of course, Susumu, Hori, and I are equals when it comes to drilling. Don't ever confuse me for a run-of-the-mill drill worker. Um, Mr. Holger? Dot dot dot. Mr. Hol- I, I mean, Mr. Driller? What is it, Shion? I have to get going. Bah, that doesn't matter at all right now. The clumsy worker calls an accident and they can't work because the wreckage in the way. That's where my drill crane and I come in. But even with an awesome driller like me, this is one heck of a tough job for just one guy. It's tough! Real tough for just one guy. That's where you, my cute little Shion, come into the picture. You've answered my drill call. Am I right? I'm right, aren't I? You'll do it, won't you? You'll help my noble cause, won't you? Uh... <laughs> I, I don't know how to respond to that. I have a bad feeling about this. Fine, so you're not gonna help me in my, in my drill, huh? I see how it is. What? No, that's not it. But drilling? I don't know. I've never operated a drill before. I mean, the, uh, oh, that's that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I've always thought of you like a daughter, but I guess you don't understand me at all. Dot, dot, dot. Well... Okay, so I don't need to do that. Hey, Shion, hello, Mr. Dad. I thought you'd come back. You're gonna forget about this drill, could <laughs> you? Oh, gosh. So, how about it? Ready to fire up the old drill? I mean, out of context, this sounds terrible. But still, maybe I should give it a try. Why not? Um, Mr. Holt, Mr. Driller, I'll give it a try, but I may not be able to fully appreciate drilling like you do. Yeah, you'll take over my drill then. Okay, first I'll teach you how to operate the drill crane. Listen closely, operating a drill is not about reflexes or clever techniques. It's all about heart and the soul within. Passion for your drill will allow you to operate the drill as you wish. Well, he's really gone off the deep end. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Now I'll show you how to operate the drill. Listen carefully and get this all down, okay? First, I'll explain vertical movement. <laughs> If you press the square button, the drill will start moving vertically. If you let go, the drill will stop right at that spot. Even if you keep pressing the button, the drill will stop once it's reached the edge of the rail. Before moving the drill, you can move the camera freely using the left analog stick. You can also switch between cameras using the R2 button. Oh gosh, gotta get all those angles in, right? You'll need to switch cameras to determine the drill's precise location, so be sure to make good use of them. Moving the drill is a one-shot deal. Operate the buttons carefully. When you're done moving vertically, you'll then move the crane horizontally. Switch cameras using the R2 button and use the square button to move the drill just like you did when moving the crane vertically. Of course, this is also a one-shot deal that you can't do over. When you're done moving vertically and horizontally, the drill will do the work on its own. The drill will come down and destroy anything under it. Obviously, nothing will happen if nothing's there. If you miss, you can always do it over again. And if you want to quit, the crane will stop if you press the X button. 
That's everything you need to know about the drill. Well, what do you think, simple, right? Hmm. I think I get it. Sort of. Uh. Let's just, let's just do it. I, I don't know what I'm doing, but what the heck. Uh. So. So. That's, that's that. Oh gosh, that's that. Okay. Uh. Come on! Oh yeah! Give me that goodie. Oh man, I can't wait. Let's see. How about. Yeah, destroy that thing. Oh yes! This is so oddly satisfying. That is not where I was aiming. Weird. How about right there? Oh, yes! All right! <coughs> That's what I call a perfect score! Oh, I wanted to use it in that person, though. Atta girl, Shion! You really understand the soul of the drill! What? Um, you think so? All on target. At this rate, you could take over my job anytime. Oh, here's a present for you. It's a drill passport. Drill passport obtained. Thank you very much. It's just a little thanks you for showing me what a true driller is all about. Take this item with you too. Data medkit S, sweet. So in the end, it was really worth it. Hey, she, I as if you were master of the drill looked different. You know what? You look a little more mature now. Don't you ever let that passion for drilling die now, okay? I'll try not to let it die. Cause that would just be no good now, wouldn't it? Let's see, where is that drill passport? Use this at EVS points to play a drill game. I like it, I like it. But I also got something else in there too. Data that is used to adjust the psychological condition of Relians. Alright, that's good. It's good to know we got that. There's an email for Xion. All right, let's read it. Omega Byte Store Inc. Starting database service. Miss Yuzuki, thank you for your recent subscription for Omega Byte Store's database services. This is to inform you that we have successfully secured a database domain for you to use. This service utilizes the inspector function on your portable connection gear to acquire specific information only and stores, excuse me, it regularly to our central server, your specified genosis and keyword as categories for your save data. You will need to save the database plugin attached to this email in order to use this service. Plugins are devices that may be attached to the connection gear and add new functions to it. By request, the database plugin will automatically be saved when this email is sent. Lastly, the database plugin will save data in the database based on need. See genosis data via the following menus. Main menu, Umin. Database, Genosis. See keyword data via the following menus. Main menu, Umin. Database, keyword. Please visit the Omega Byte Store again soon. Omega Byte Store, Inc. Main menu, Umin. Database, keyword. The fact that you receive email from Omega Byte Store must mean you'll be able to use the Umin database in the near future. Very perceptive. By the way, why did you select keyword Genosis to your databases? You have a reason, don't you? Of course. The reason why I thought of using keyword is because I can file all the keywords that come up in conversation in the database. That way I can always go back and check the detailed description later. I am pretty familiar with the most technical terms, but sometimes keywords that I don't know the definitions for appear. Oh, I see! I selected Genosis just in case. There is a possibility that I will have to fight them in the future, right? I agree with you, you probably won't be able to get my invading battles with Genosis. On top of that, you may be placed in a situation where you have to fight the same type of Genosis more than once. Right. That's why I thought the best thing to do was to gather data on them. And gathering data is a good idea, of course. Because when you get data... Oh, man. Very many Umi data, okay. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll try to keep that in mind because I want to go. Uh, uh, Umin. Access to Umin. Uh, Umin. Unis Mundus Network. 
So this is where you go, huh? Interesting. Database. Genosis. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this thing is nuts. But anyway, I'm not going to go and look at all this stuff. I just want to look at some of this stuff. Oh gosh. Anti-genosis weapon system, huh? Well, that's good. Alan, age 24. Oh gosh. Look at the freaking lore on people now. Wait, how many do we got? Do we only got... Oh gosh, we got a lot actually. Oh, we got 50. Oh gosh. Well... I most certainly will not look up that much stuff. Can I? Oh, this is what you mean by index search. Okay. Well, I can look up the things on people, I suppose, because maybe people would be interesting to look at. Born TC4743, age 24 years old, assistant chief engineer of the Cosmos Project General Operating Operation System Research Center. Vector Industries' first R&D division. Upon graduation from the University of Bormio, he joined Vector's first R&D division. Although he is two years older than Xion. Okay, well that gives that away. Alan is a junior by one year in the corporate hierarchy of Vector. He apparently comes from a wealthy family, but he does not share details of his background with anyone. Hobby? Fishing. Cool. He loves fishing. Because why not? Captain Moriyama. Oops. Frick! Guy, dang it. Okay. TC4727, age 40 years old, captain of the space cruiser Woglin, loyal to his mission. He is also quite generous and understanding towards the subordinates who will all trust him. Good! Commander Andrew Cher Cherenkov, age 36 year old, born in TC4731, commander in the Federation Marine Corps and second commander of the battle cruiser Woglin. There's more to this man than meets the eye. What's well, good? Uh. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm not seeing a lot of other people. What about Cosmos? An armored female android developed by the interstellar conglomerate Vector Industries. She is comprised entirely of mechanical parts, a rarity in an age of advanced rarely in technology. The basic tenet to which she adheres to is based on logic, probability, and completion of her mission above all else. She also unconditionally protects Xion, her creator. She is equipped with a simulated personality OS to aid in communication, and though her speech conveys her role as an android in service to humans, her tendency to put logic and probability first makes her quite difficult to manage at times. The name COSMOS is a general acronym to denote an anti-genosis anti tactical system. It stands for COSMOS OBEY, Strategic Multiple Operation Systems. That just sounds... Like, we literally just put her name within her name? Like, why? Doesn't that just seem a little silly? Is this a person? Oh no, it's just a lake. Well, sometimes people have the name Lake, so I mean, I don't freaking know. Uh, you. Miyuki, born TC4747, age 20 years old, assistant program at Becker's first R&D division. She's a younger colleague of Shion's and quite a mechanical otaku. She submits patent applications as a hobby and constantly creates new inventions using Xion and the others as guinea pigs. As her supervisor, Xion is plagued by a constant expense authorization request. Her full name is Miyuki Itsumi, and in a way, she is a woman very true to her ambitions. Well, that's good. What is not Raja? Oh, that's not even a person. I thought that'd be a person. Porter, who are you? Oh. Never mind. Shion Yuzuki, born TC4745, age 22 years old, assigned to Vector Industries' first R&D division at the age of 18 in TC4763. Her official title is Chief Engineer of the Cosmos Project, General Operations System Research Center, Vector Industries' first R&D division. Although two years younger than Alan, Shion is a year his senior in the corporate hierarchy of Vector. Although she appears clumsy at times, she is actually quite athletic. In particular, her high kicks are powerful enough to render a grown man unconscious. She apparently also wields a jujitsu like technique passed on from her grandfather. But unfortunately, this skill does not appear in this episode. <laughs> okay? Like, we're just gonna say that. 
Oh yeah, it doesn't appear in this episode. You'll see you later though! I guarantee it! Togashi, born TC4745, age 22 years old. A younger colleague of Alan. Togashi joined Vector's first R&D division right after the incident in which Cosmos went out of control. He finds great satisfaction in giving his mentor Alan a hard time. His hobby is Judo, and he's in love with Miyuki. Maybe. <laughs> Excuse me? Maybe? Okay, what about... First Lieutenant Virgil. Born in TC4735, age 32 years old. First Lieutenant of the Galaxy Federation Marine Corps and a brilliant AG de a brilliant egg pilot. He's affiliated with DME addiction, which is caused by the consumption of relian body tissue, as evidenced by the condition of his facial skin. Huh. Okay, well that's interesting. 400 level. Well, I am curious about that actually. Part of the program used to measure Cosmos combat capability. Okay, that's not very descriptive at all. All right. Well, that's all of that. Well, people anyway. I don't think we really care about the. We don't care about the other stuff, do we? At least I don't think so. Please be careful around here. It's a high traffic area for war carts. It's cargo being moved overhead by wires. Just now there was an accident over there. It's too bad. The most important thing is to hand to hand. Is in hand-to-hand -hand combat is to know what your enemy looks like and have an understanding of its behavior. Please don't worry, we'll protect all the personnel on board the ship. Good. Very good. Keep protecting all of them. Because we must do that if we know what's good for us. The Wogeland is a truly wonderful ship, but I'm unable to express in words how wonderful I think the ship really is. Please go, I'll walk around the ship and enjoy the greatness of this craft for yourself. I'll try to. It's good to have an appreciation for things like that. Hi, soldier. What's up? I am not going to use that. I am not going to use that because I'm paranoid now after that last time. Hmm? What is it? Do you want something from me? Who can imagine that a woman as beautiful as you would appear in such a messy room? You are truly a trash in a dunghill. Um, are you saying I'm trash? That's right. Trash. Um, are you sure you don't mean to say jewel? Oh, well, you could say that, too. Well, even Homer sometimes bobs. Everyone slips up. Even Homer sometimes nods? Wait, is that how it goes? This guy, sound, this guy seems like me, almost. Like, just getting certain sayings just wrong for no reason. I don't know what to think about that. Dang it! Now, where could it be? I thought I left it in this pocket. Something the matter? Huh? Oh, I think I misplaced the key to my quarters. Where did it go? Hey, those are my quarters. Don't be snooping around. Oh, sorry. It's not like you can get in without the key anyway. I was going to say, what if you left your keys in there? That's what I was going to do. Hey, you're a vector personnel, right? The true that this ship is the ultimate anti-genosis weapon on board? Yes, that's true. Hmm. So it's called the ultimate weapon. It must be really amazing. I bet it's massive and capable of zapping entire hordes of genosis, right? Oh no, it's not that large. And about the zapping part... Well... About the zapping part, it's not entirely accurate, but uh... So let's see, ship location, where's the bridge at exactly? Doesn't exactly say that now, does it? Current location, Corridor 3. Well, the left over here has nothing apparently, so... There's an email for Shion. Oh boy. Well, let's read it. Secret email from Miyuki Itsumi. Okay. Shion, how are you? Have you received the fruit of my labor, the MWS, yet? It's quite impressive, wouldn't you say? What, you haven't tried it out yet? What? Uh, okay. Well, that's an email. I don't get it, though. If you haven't tried it out yet, you really ought to see it in action. Anyway, I have a juicy story to share with you today. I think you'll find it interesting. It actually concerns Cosmos. I thought that might get your full and uninvited attention. You know Boris from 2nd Division Small Munitions Group, right? He's the guy who accidentally set off the Experimental Versus Transmit Generator and was nearly fired for it. Well, it seems he hasn't learned his lesson yet because he's secretly planning something behind the director's back again. I thought he was acting suspicious, so I kept an eye on him, and my intuition proved right. When I pressed him for answers, we, stu we struck up an interesting little conversation. I think he filled me in because I kept quiet and let him do all the talking. <laughs> 
Boris told me that his plan is to develop the ultimate weapon befitting Cosmos. Should he succeed in realizing the potential power of this weapon, one attack will damage the enemy's entire party. The basic design is complete. All that's left to be done now is the simulation test. The calculator used in this design, however, is a bit lacking in power, so we decided to farm out the calculation process among several computers. At the moment, we are secretly recruiting friends and interest interested vector personnel. A few people from the first R&D division are participating too. The connection node size is approximately 60. Pretty impressive, huh? You get the newest Rios model, right? So how about it? Would you like to participate? It would probably boost the overall calculation speed. What do you think? Sounds interesting, right? Please apply if you'd like to participate. We would really like Cosmos to have this weapon. I'm sending you the plug-in. All you have to do is connect to the connection gear. Oh, and please do so as soon as you can. If we spend too much time trying to persuade people, I'm afraid of some of the higher-ups. Oh, jeez. Right, some of the higher-ups might find out, so please respond quickly to this email. It should be fine if you send me a response while you are still on the Wit Wogland. I hope you hear from you soon, Miyuki. I read the secret email. Hey. Your side project or Boris project rather seems risky, but it's a bit more stimulating that way, isn't it? When Boris finishes his weapon, it will increase Cosmos' battle strength. I think there is a reason to help, so I decided to participate in this project. Please send me the necessary file. Hey! I can't believe this. Don't you think- Don't you have more important things to do, Miyuki? I'm really busy with Cosmos, so I wish you'd just quit fooling around. I mean, I'll participate. Why not? That's okay. Send reply. Alright! Now that's more like it. What are the, these Genosis things, anyway? In this era of scientific omnipotence, I never thought we'd be fighting ghosts and monsters. You creep me out, man. Ugh. Y you're Vector personnel, right? Then you must know what we that thing we recovered is. The thing we recovered? I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. Whoa, not even Vector knows about it. I thought the investigations unit came from Vector. The government investigation unit is keeping a close grip on the object that was recovered the other day. And why is that? Why are you keeping such a close eye on it? Lieutenant Gravel, your excessive use of ammo was noted during the ho today's hostage rescue training. Sorry I got caught up. As a field commander, you must maintain your composure at all times. Otherwise, your actions will result in the deaths of those whom you command. I know, I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed to say I messed up during training. When I found out that the hostage was a kid, my emotions took over. Aw, that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Man, I'm getting sick of this. Investigating planetary disappearances and recovering floats him. It's nothing for us marines to do. Nothing at all, you say? Well, maybe you should go do something in that case. Quit complaining out the door. I got really confused by my surroundings for whatever reason. I was like, wait a second, something doesn't look right here. Hey, Shion! Over here, right here! Oh, it's Sergeant Swain. What's up, Sergeant Swain? Hello, Sergeant Swain. Something the matter? I've got something for you. I'm going to present you with the results of my research. Research? You mean the hobby of investigating all the doors on the ship? Yup, that's it. But I'm not just investigating the doors. Well, want to know what I'm researching? Uh, sure, why not? <sighs> Excuse me. You know how the nanomachine core is still a black box, just like when it was first developed? It's a secret, but I hear it has a bug. It's used for building and construction. It has a tendency to create useless corridors with locks. It's supposed to no real harm, so it's been kept under wraps. I just happened to find the secret documents describing the bug. This is a collection of all the hidden passages from all over the world based on that document. This is the secret of my personal hidden warehouse. There are still 17 or 18 that I haven't opened yet. I search for them every time we disembark, but it's tough. Well, doesn't it seem fun? Almost like a treasure hunt, right? Oh, the ones on the ship are mine, so don't open them. But thank you very much. Obtain segment file. All right, let's look at that segment file, shall we? Look at that. File containing information on hidden storage rooms. Review with information by pressing the circle button. 
Waglin Corridor or Xion's Corridors? Well, I mean, that that's good and all. That's pretty good, I would say. All right, so then. Blah. My ear is just randomly itchy right now. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Where did I come from? Did I come from over here? I think I might have. Yeah, I came from over there. Good. Very good. Oh, man. I can't believe what's going on right now. Or maybe I can't. I don't know. Let's see you. Those things, they're called Genosis, right? Do you think they're real? They're telling the public that they don't exist much like the Loch Ness Monster or the Abominable Snowman. Yeah, well, I mean, you never know. They could be real, they could be fake, I don't know. Let's go with segment address number seven. Alright. That's not bad. Mark the segment address number seven. So, why am I not able to go into these rooms? There's an email for Xi'an. Holy crud, there are so many emails! Namco release shooting game Ninja Assault. Yeah, okay. Use the powerful mock gun said to hold magical powers and shoot down violent enemies. Beautiful stage is set against the backdrop during the age of provincial wars in feudal Japan. Are they literally just advertising one of their own games? Like, what the crud? Like, really? Builds a complete port of the arcade version. Newly added stages, large increase in game content. An all new original character, Ioe Kanodi Kunoichi, makes an appearance. New introductory demo. Home version is an expanded storyline. 32 mini game missions. Provide endless hours of fun. GunCon 2 compatible. What was that? This must be an interesting email someone mentioned I'd be getting earlier. Sounds like fun. I enjoy video games. Oh, sweet. Alright. Well, that's good. Xion's a gamer. That's always a good thing. So then. So then. Man, how long is she going to make me wait? She has said to wait in front of the information board, but she hasn't gotten to show up at all. Dang it, my break's almost over. So if I go straight, I would go, I assume that yellow room might be the bridge, but at the same time I don't actually know that. Current location corridor 4, but if I go to the right I go to the elevator. Uh, excuse me, you mind watching your personal space good sir? Alright, well I don't know if I talked to him already or not, but I don't care, I'm just gonna go over here. Gosh. He's like parked himself right behind me right there. Like, what was he going to do? Some robot goes directly to the bridge. Oh, wait, that goes to the bridge? Your chief Yuzuki a vector, right? The captain is expecting you. Please hurry. I'd rather not. I'd rather just go somewhere else right now and be like, yep, that's right. That's what I'm doing. What you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing, of course. <laughs> Just gonna go check out this area, cause I want to. <laughs> I never lose. Oh yeah? Yo, Miss Vector. Come join us for a friendly game. Huh? Well, okay. Oh, uh, no need to worry. The rules are simple. We're just gonna play tag. We're gonna try to catch you, alright? All you gotta do is get that item behind us without uh, getting caught and you win. Don't try to charge straight through us either. You need to watch your opponent's moves and use the features of the corridor to your advantage. You ready? Here we go. Uh. You got to better than that. That was disappointing. It's where you won't be able to outrun the Genosis as they attack. Uh, okay. Can we do it again? Uh, you don't need to explain again. I already know what I gotta do. I gotta get a box that's literally right behind you. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm gonna charge straight through. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you know what I was gonna th say? Maybe they were just saying that just to make me think that wasn't the answer. But it really was the answer. And it wasn't. Okay, I'll do it again. Gosh, this is gonna be annoying if I keep failing this. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. I get you, I get you. Wait a second. Am I really just allowed to go that far? 
Oh gosh, oh gosh, I feel like they're catching up to me. Oh gosh, oh gosh! Oh gosh! No! Wait. No, I did it? Not, not bad, not bad at all. With those moves, you'll be fine even when things get hot. Thought I failed. Obtain a med kit, that's it? I get more med kits doing that? I swear, I thought that caught up to me too. Can I get more med kits just doing this over and over and over again if I want to? I'm curious now. I gotta see this. Alright. Yeah, just try and catch me. This time I got a real head start. You can't catch me. Nah, 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 nah. Not bad at all. You'll get it in no time. Wow, I really can't just get more med kits. That's stupid. Why am I able to do that? I don't get it. All right, whatever. So, about this. What's this? Man, the nerves. Those strangers took over the hangar and filled it with all their stuff. So there's no room for our equipment. That's too bad. It's always nice to have some room for equipment. But anyway, what's in here? Like, I thought this was the bridge, but apparently it's not. Okay, hold on. Like, let me talk to you. You're from Vector, right? Don't have anything for you today. Or you're sending something. This place isn't, like, an eerily lack... Just lacking music, really. Oh, this? It's an eggs capsule. You can carry an eggs inside and deploy it as necessary. Use the same space compression technology used in transportation. Create a totally self-contained portable AGWS hangar. I swear, I just, like, just call it AGWS. Even if they want to call it eggs, like, my gosh, I'm never going to get used to that. Well, if it isn't the Vector Chief, what can I help you with today? I'll sell you whatever you need, real cheap. Uh, sure? Med kit? Ether pack? Escape pack? Oh, I do need those. Woo! A biosphere and a revive, huh? Well, I will certainly wait. You're also selling accessories? A uniform and a protector. Huh, uniform for female vector employees, auxiliary armor for arms. Well, that's good. Well, anyway, I don't need that. I want some escape packs. I'll buy, like, ten. Ten units of escape pack purchased. I mean, I know these are going to be important to you, so I might as well get them, right? Thanks for your business. So I almost forgot. I have something interesting information. You know that vaporizing plug-in being used experimentally in the simulator? Yes, my company developed it. Yes, that's the one. It destroys obstacles via connection gear. They're announcing a working model soon, so Vector is sending us prototypes. If you're interested, come back later. This really ticks me off. We have to escort an investigation we know nothing about to take on enemies that we know even less about. But when things really hit the fan, we're just the ones who have to bear the full brunt of it. We should just leave it to the Relians to get their butts kicked by those ghosts. Ghosts? You're telling me there's ghosts in this game? You have no idea just how terrifying they really are. Only after fighting will you realize how futile it is. Well, what if I don't want it to be futile, huh? This is my first tour and I got assigned an AGWS already. I'm the first in my class to get assigned. I'm so proud. Proud of it. That's good. Oh, Chief Yuzuki. Here to use the AGWS simulator? Uh, not yet. It's your economy. Should there be anything I can help you with? Well... Looks like there's nothing at the back end of this room. Alright, might as well try out the AGWS simulator, right? But... I think we'll wait for the next exciting episode to try out that simulator. Oh man, this simulator is going to be great. I can't wait to try it out. Can you wait to see it in action? I bet you can't! Or maybe you can! Yeah, you can do it. I know you can. I believe in you all. You can totally wait 24 hours to see the simulator. Oh man, simulator hype! I can't wait! You all have a nice day! See you later!